Hello everyone, this is Phoenix Tremaine, and today I'm going to be giving you spoilers for Days of Our Lives for the week of April the 22nd, and our countdown continues to when these writers finally are finished and the old writers can come back from, uh, we're still seeing works from the writer strike, so we need those writers to be gone because this show is absolutely positively getting worse, 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 worse. Uh, three weeks ago, Days of Our Lives um, was in the top 10 at number six. Last week, it was number seven. And then I checked today and they were like number nine. <laughs> we, we need to keep the show in the top 10. And let me tell you, it is so hard to watch. And is you know, it was my favorite soap opera. So that's why I'm like, you know, they come back in May. They didn't, Ron didn't announce when. In May, the old writers come back and the characters can start making sense again. But Paulina is radioactive and she goes to save her daughter and look at them all hugged up and whatnot. She is radioactive, the stupid one of the stupidest storylines that I have ever seen on subs when making Paulina radioactive running out there in the snow in April to go save her daughter. And how does she save her daughter? By putting everybody in a cabin in danger because, you know, in a the hospital, they were in hazmat suits being around her. And look at her. This is ridiculous. <laughs> so, yeah, I it's hard to watch. And most of the time I have been watching. I have been keeping up the way some of you have through the spoilers. And then I'll tune in to see like a scene or there I may be interested in. But for the most part, I'm just counting the days until May comes because we probably have maybe two or three more, well, like three more weeks of these other writers. And then, you know, we 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 will probably get the show back to being where it needs to be. But anyway, you came here from some spoilers, but I had to get that off my chest. And also, please like and subscribe. It's free to do. And it helps me out a lot. And so I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. I appreciate you. You're part of my sub fam. Now, uh, Monday, April 22nd, Paulina's actions leave Kayla and Abe upset. I wonder why. Johnny has a surprise for Chanel to make up for that lousy honeymoon. On Clyde's orders, Ava snoops at the bistro while Harris keeps a lookout. Kate vents to Roman about how, fr how frustrated she is that Lucas hasn't been cleared. Tuesday, Tate and Holly manage to sneak away together for a fleeting moment. Sloan is conf they I know soaps always do the Romeo and Juliet trope, but Tate has, I mean, Holly has treated Tate like crap since day one. And he's so in love and I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Uh, Sloan is confronted by Eric about the cash that has gone missing from their budget. When Teresa tries to help Alex relax with a massage, he gets more excited. EJ leaves little doubt in Chris's mind about his plan to run Demir Enterprises. Brady and Nicole manage to have a positive moment to contemplate their friendship. On Wednesday, after Stephanie informs her that Everett has signed off on the divorce, Jada is left in shock. Kristen and Stefan speculate on what could have bumped off Lee. And if you haven't seen, it's kind of been spoiled a little bit. The Lee is in the cast photos for the 15,000 episode, which is Doug's funeral. And that's in, I think it's December 2nd. So if he's in those photos, then that means Lee's probably not dead. So that's how Gabby will get out of jail. And um, the new Gabby starts in June. But anyway, Wendy is surprised when Trip goes to her with plans for a trip. Harris and Ava look for the Black Book at the Bistro again. Stefan gets a warning from Rafe. Thursday. Sarah and Xander are stunned when Maggie breaks the news that she's planning to tie the knot with Constantine. 
Kristen asks Alex to spend the night with her. Uh, upset, Teresa admits to Brady that she's feeling like she's failed. Constantine attempts to ruin John and Steve's friendship. Friday, when he starts investigating the financial issues he's uncovered, Eric is shocked to discover Leo living at the Salem Inn. Nicole talks to Chad about a job as a journalist for The Spectator. Oh, so, so, so out of touch. Nobody running around trying to get newspaper jobs. Let me know. Let me, let me tell you, I've worked as a writer for three newspapers and worked at a fourth one. So, yeah, back when I was a writer writing for newspapers, it was a big deal. But there also wasn't the Internet. <laughs> oh man, and we know Nicole Arya Zucker, Arya Zucker, Zucker, she got fired. So Nicole's days are numbered with the show. So she wants to be a journalist. So what will that lead to? Paulina tears into EJ about suspicious behavior with Stefan. Uh, I guess she's not radioactive anymore. Johnny and Chanel go looking for apartments. Um, he's like rich. Shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> or you could just find a wing at the mansion and just, you know, do that. But okay. Um, and that's it for uh, Days of Our Lives for the week of the 22nd. Let me know what you think about Paulina being radioactive this week. I know this is full of the 22nd, but we got to talk about this Paulina being radioactive nonsense. And I will see you in the next video.